KBR has booked a potential $69 million contract to provide support personnel for three bases in the U.S. Central Command Area of Operations. Rob Carey, president of Cloudera Government Solutions, said he expects to see widespread adoption of generative artificial intelligence in the federal government within five years and that the government should exercise caution when it comes to the technology. LMI will support high-level meetings, events and publications of the Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Policy, under a four-year contract. Private equity firm IMB Partners has invested in Intelligent Group as the information technology services provider aims to scale its organizational infrastructure and explore growth opportunities to better serve clients in the government. Bill Rowan, vice president of Splunk's public sector business and a four-time WASH 100 award winner, discussed the challenges that lead to varying impacts of zero-trust architecture on federal agencies. Lidos has received a $36 million contract modification to fabricate, test and deliver four development models of a medium unmanned undersea vehicle and related equipment and data to the U.S. Navy. Microsoft is collaborating with the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency to offer expanded cloud logging capabilities to federal and commercial customers in September. CACI International showcased its suite of counter-unmanned aircraft systems during a technology demonstration event hosted by Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology. Join Potomac Officers Club's 8th Annual Army Summit on August 1, 2023. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. OneWeb's government-focused subsidiary has worked with the Department of the Air Force Program Executive Office to demonstrate the military applications of commercial satellite communications equipment during Exercise Northern Edge in Alaska. Atom Computing has partnered with the Department of Energy's National Renewable Energy Laboratory to explore the potential applications of quantum computing to optimize the U.S. power grid.